What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a site cart and a menu cart to your Elementor header. Now the site cart that we're going to be adding is this one here and it has some pretty unique features that I really want to show you guys and we're also going to be adding this menu cart which connects to our site cart here. Now let me go ahead and show you guys what this site cart does and why you should have this on your e-commerce website. So I'm going to scroll down here so I'm going to go ahead and add a product to my cart here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this one here, add to cart. And as you can tell, my cart is going to pop up and it's going to go ahead and give me suggestions on other items that I should add to my cart. And it's also going to let me know that if I spend 21 more dollars, I'm going to get free shipping. And it has this really cool meter that I really enjoy. So if I go ahead and add another item here, it's going to go ahead and tell me that I need $9 more to get free shipping. And let me go ahead and maybe get free shipping here. So I'm going to add this one. And there we go. Congrats. You've you've activated free US shipping. Um, and that's a really awesome feature. I haven't seen that in uh, any other um, side cart. Um, so I really like what they did with this. So if you guys want to go ahead and learn how you guys can get the side cart and also add a um, menu cart to your header, um, you guys can go ahead and stick around. Now, if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, um, make sure to do so. That would be definitely greatly appreciated. Now, um, without further ado, go ahead and stick around. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that we need to do is download the Sidecar plugin. So head over to your dashboard. And then go into plugins. And click on add new. And just type in caddy. I'll have a link to that down in the description as well. And go ahead and install this plugin here. Now this is a fairly new plugin, and honestly, I've really enjoyed it so far. It has some really nice features. So go ahead and click on activate. Okay, and then from here, if we go to our website, we notice that we have the side cart now set up, and it's honestly really nice. I actually have been using this on some of my client websites, and then another thing that we can do is we can enable our free shipping feature. So if we go to Caddy, and then we can go ahead and, and, and add a free shipping meter. So let's say whenever they reach $100, they're gonna get free shipping. So now I'm gonna go back into my website here. And as you can tell, now we're gonna have this free shipping meter. So it's gonna tell them how much more they need to get free shipping. And it's pretty awesome. As you can tell, now we've added a little more and we just need a, we just need a lot more to go. So let's say you want to go ahead and change this icon here because I'm sure you guys did notice that in the video, in the beginning of the intro, my icon was different from the one that we have here. So I've actually been able to customize um, this uh, sidecar bubble here. So what we're going to do is I do have some custom, a, um, custom CSS that we can use. So head over to your um, customize. Now you can add this either in your customize and your additional CSS, or you can go into caddy and then go into styles and you can actually add the CSS right in here. But we're going to go ahead and add it into our additional CSS so I can tell you um, a little bit about the CSS that we're going to be adding. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab my CSS and the first one here is gonna go ahead and make my little my little green bubble, it's gonna turn it red. As you can tell, now my bubble is red here, and that makes it a lot better. But of course, you can go ahead and change the color of that bubble to anything that you would like. As you can tell, this is, and I even, I even named each CSS class, so this one's called Floating Cart Quantity Bubble. And you can go ahead and see that this is the bubble color, and you can change it to whatever color you may want. Now the next one is going to be is going to actually change our icon here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one here. And this is going to change our icon. I'm going to add it on the second line. And as you can tell now I changed it to our icon. Now we do have to have font awesome ins installed on our um our website, but if you do have Elementor, um you will have font awesome installed by default. 
so you shouldn't have a problem with that and then over here you can go ahead and change the icon that you may want to change and then you can change the icon size um, right over here just by changing the pixels on here now don't worry if you don't have um, font awesome it's really easy to install actually you can go into your plugins go into add new and then just type in font awesome and you can just go ahead and install either this one or this one here and it'll automatically add it for you and then uh, you can go ahead and just um, start using these icons here and you should be fine all you got to do is just install it and activate it and that's it and then it should be working properly but um, most most of you probably have Elementor so it's going to work by default so you shouldn't have any issues there now that's pretty much it for customizing um, this cart bubble here but if let's say you wanted to add your cart icon here at the top and you wanted people to click on this and also have it um, side uh, slide over well what we can do let me go ahead and actually um, save this here now this is something extra that I just wanted to add to show you guys because I think it's pretty cool and it's pretty useful but I'm sure a lot of you guys want to go ahead and integrate this um this side cart with your with your main uh, menu here so what we have to do is go ahead and click on edit with Elementor if you're using Elementor for your header hopefully you are um, there are other other methods of adding it to your to your menu if you're not using um, Elementor but just go ahead and comment down below if you need some help with that but now go into your um, editor panel for the header now what we need to do is just add the cart maybe right next to our search icon so what I would do is go ahead and search for caddy and you're gonna see the caddy cart is already here in your Elementor um, widgets but it's just a default WordPress widget that you can add so just drag and drop it you know what let's go ahead and add a new column here so I'm add a new column and then I think I'm going to add it maybe right um, right, uh, right after my, my menu here. So I'm just going to move this to the side. Move this one over a bit as well. I'm going to give it some space because I do want to give it some space. And then now I'm going to search for caddy. Or you can just search for cart and it'll pop up. And then just drag and drop it into that column here. And there we have it. Now, of course, we want to go ahead and click on our column. We want to go ahead and put this to the middle. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some um, some spacing on this. So I'm gonna to go to advanced. I'm gonna make sure that I click on my caddy icon. I'm gonna to go to advanced, and then I'm gonna put some margin into this. So from the left side, I'm gonna move it over a bit to about the middle. Now, don't worry. We're gonna go ahead and change this icon and add a, a little bubble to it. It's gonna be red, um, just by adding some custom CSS. So now, once we have something looking pretty good, I'm gonna go ahead and click update. now we have this icon here and whenever we click on it it's going to go ahead and pop out our um our cart menu now as you can tell it has uh, the amount of um, items that we have but it's honestly not looking really good um so we want to go ahead and change this up so what we can do is go ahead and click on customize and we're just going to add some css so go into um, additional css and I'm going to go ahead and just add my CSS here. I'm going to go ahead and add um, the first one, which is going to add my header cart quantity bubble. Now, as you can tell, it added my bubble, but I mean, for you, it might look good. And uh, but as far as as far as on my website, it's not looking the greatest. And I did this on purpose just so then I can show you how to fix this just in case you're having this issue but you might not have this issue if you're ha if you're using a different theme maybe the hello theme is compatible and it might 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 have the right settings but we can go ahead and adjust this but what we want to do first before we start adjusting the bubble i'm going to go ahead and just change this icon here to a different car icon something that looks more like this one just so then it goes with my my website so i'm going to go back over here to my uh css and i'm going to grab my header i uh, my header car icon and that is my CSS class for that. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. And as you can tell, it's going to change my icon now. So we're all set with my icon now. We just need to go ahead and adjust my um, my bubble here. So over here, this is where we're going to make our adjustments. Now, just going over, I'll go over the, the header car icon first, just so then you guys know how to adjust that. So 
Um, this is a specific icon if you guys wanted to change it. And then this is a car icon color. You can change the color of this icon. So currently I have it at black. And then we have our font size, which is 20 for this icon. So if you guys want to change the icon um, size, you guys can do that as well. As you can tell, I can set maybe set this to, to uh, 30 or whatever um, size I may want. Maybe I want to set it to 25. I think 25 is actually pretty good. So I might actually do that instead. So I'm going to set it to 25. And then over here, we want to start to adjust our... Um, our quantity bubble so we can go ahead and change the color of our quantity bubble just by changing this color here maybe we want to do um white so you can go ahead and do white instead but obviously you can't see that let's do something like noticeable like green right well there you go but i like it i like it how it was i'm going to leave it at red now we just need to go ahead and adjust some of the padding so this is what we need to adjust here our padding um so i'm going to set the top to about maybe zero because I don't want any padding at the top. And then um, from the sides here, I'm going to do about maybe eight. Okay, so it's looking a lot better. I want to go ahead and make my font size a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and do 13. Or maybe 12. Uh, yeah, 12 should be fine. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. Maybe we can add some uh, some more padding to this on the on the right and the left side. So if you guys don't know about a little bit about CSS. So when you're at your padding this is a bottom and top and this is a left and right and that's how that works so i'm going to go to maybe do nine and that's looking pretty good so i'm going to leave it at that you can tell whenever i click on it my um car menu pops up and it's looking pretty good so now i'm going to click publish and i'm going to exit out of here and we should be good there we go and that's pretty much how you would go ahead and set up your cart menu now, I know that some of you guys always ask me um, to optimize this for um, for mobile. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do that real quick. Just so then you guys can see the process that I that I have whenever I optimize that. So obviously on here, it's not going to be looking how it looks on our website. But we can just go ahead and start to adjust this. Um, so that's already looking pretty decent. We just got to move this around here. So probably going to make this a little bit shorter here. Give us some more space. And then this one, I might just give it some more space here. But it might look good on, you know what, I'll probably put it up to here because I think it will look good on um, on tablet already. But I will have to test that out just to make sure. Okay. And then let's go ahead and just adjust that for, um, for mobile here. I'm just going to bring this down a bit. And then I'm going to bring this one. I'm going to give this one some, some width here. We probably don't need um, that much spacing. So on here, maybe we can move it over a bit. And then from here, we may want to actually make this a little shorter here. There we go. So we'll see how that looks. Maybe we might want to adjust that a little more. Uh, it just really depends. Let's see here. There we go. So now we can go ahead and take a look at how this looks. Let's go ahead and just refresh this. And I'll see how it optimizes. Okay, so it's looking pretty decent. I think you guys kind of get the gist of it. You guys can just go ahead and adjust the uh, spacing on that. What I would actually do to adjust the spacing on that is pretty simple here. All you would do um, is go into layout and then just make, make this a lot shorter. Maybe do 10 or something. You can do about 10 and then maybe bring this out a bit to about 30. 35 and that should hopefully fix the issue yeah see so that's looking a lot better maybe we can move that maybe we can move that i'm not really going to mess with this too much but basically what you would do is um you maybe just go ahead and do about you can actually have some spacing to this you can go in here and then maybe go into here and then from the left side maybe do 10 or something like that i just really want to make sure you guys are set there because i know sometimes you guys do have issues here there we go. So that's how you guys can go ahead and optimize this. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. I really didn't want to make it that long. So hopefully it didn't turn out, turn out to be too long. And um, hopefully you guys actually got something out of this. And if you guys did and you guys really did enjoy this video and this content, uh, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so um, to support the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.